on this episode of Higher Order Outdoors. Join us as we take you to the backwoods of northeast Missouri and search a white-tailed deer for the opening weekend of rifle season. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of High Order Outdoors. This time we're taking you up to Northeast Missouri in search of a buck or a doe for my cousin Bryant. He's an avid outdoorsman just like his dad and just like all his relatives. Opening morning, Grandpa shot a nice eight point and he didn't have a camera with him because he was hunting by himself. So he didn't get the shot on film, but we got the recovery on film and Bryant was there for it. And I just kind of stood there for a minute and turned around and walked off. He's still there when I left. Should we go get him then real quick? Yep. seeing the buck grandpa shot I think Bryant might have been a little jealous and grandpa had seen some other deer in that same spot so Bryant decided he wanted to go with Uncle Ben back to the red line where grandpa had shot Apartment his buck. Crime. Yeah. Go back here is a big ditch. It's November 11th. It's the evening hunt. We're out here about 12 30 in the afternoon because we never know deer are chasing hard. First year that They saw a massive buck run across the field about 450 yards away and they texted me that they had seen it and I turned around and the deer was right there. I shot the buck and they had to make a thousand yard trek to go get my deer. Oh he's got good brows too. Pretty nice work buddy. Yeah, he's pretty heavy. He comes way up off his head. Yep, nice That's deer. It's a, a good deer, buddy. That's Congrats. Awesome. Thank you. Although Bryant had seen a bunch of deer, the hunch just hadn't panned out for him. So I decided to take him out the next morning. We would go to the Triple B blind, or the Big Buck blind is what he calls it. And we were going to see if we could get him a big buck or a doe. Well, we didn't end up seeing any deer on that morning sit, so we we hoped for a much better evening sit in the same blind, and um, I would say it worked out.
our first deer that he's killed when being with me. Give me fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, we're going to stay out here. Hopefully a buck will come by. Um, maybe the shot scared it off. I don't know. We've got three and a half hours left. That's why we got out here early. Uh, if we would have walked in at 2 o'clock, we would have spooked her out of the field and then probably wouldn't have had a chance to shoot her. So Brian's got one down, and I've got one down, and we're going to see if we can't get him a buck now. You missed and you hit him. Meh, meh. That was really close. Um, we're going to throw a few grunt calls at him. Maybe he comes back out. I don't know. He was coming to check on uh, Brian's doe that he shot. There she is. Look at that. Awesome, buddy. Look at you. All right, get down there. That's awesome, man. Way to go. Good job. Just got done cleaning some deer and two more bucks showed up. So there's a nice eight point and another nice eight point. So that makes five bucks with my eight point, grandpa's eight point, these two, and Megan's nine point. <laughs>